I adore her, so I had to deal with her. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these out. Matcha latte from Dunkin' Donuts. You're coming to the end of your treatment. No basic zone. What's up, Stitch Yang? Welcome or welcome back to another day in the Stitch Life. So today's vlog is going to be a day in my life. Today's Saturday. I want to pick my room up a little bit because I have things all over the place from this week. Also want to go ahead and start clearing out my closet for spring. And hopefully after I finish everything that I need to do today, I can get some self-care in. So before we start today's video off, don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up down below. If you've been enjoying my vlogs, make sure you also subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. And don't forget to also follow me on Instagram at the Stitch Life. So before I go ahead and get to cleaning out my closet that's like the main thing on my list I actually want to share some items that I recently got in the mail so I recently got not one but two perfumes from Dossier so before I go ahead and show you guys the perfumes that I got from Dossier I wanted to just tell you guys about Dossier really quickly just in case you guys are unfamiliar with the brand so they are a perfume brand that creates perfumes inspired by some of your favorite luxury perfumes for a fraction of the price. So they sent over two scents that I'm going to open up with you guys. Iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. Love that. So the first fragrance is called Powdery Coconut. It's inspired by Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I love the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, but cha, I do not want to spend $200, $300 for that fragrance. So when I saw that Dossier had a perfume inspired by the scent, I was like, oh baby, we need to smell it. Let's see if it matches up to the actual Tom Ford Soleil Blanc fragrance. So this is what it looks like. I love the packaging. It's very minimalistic. This is what the bottle looks like. This one has top notes of cardamom, pistachio, bergamot, middle notes of ylang ylang, tuberose, jasmine, and then base notes of cedarwood, amber, benzoin and coconut so I actually have a sample of the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc but <laughs> I have to note really quickly I haven't smelled any of these fragrances because I've been waiting to smell them with you guys and I just took a quick whiff and baby it smells exactly no cap it smells exactly like Tom Ford Soleil Blanc that's crazy wow okay this is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc sample I went ahead and spritz that on my skin i'm gonna let it dry down a little bit i'm going to spritz my wrist with the powdery coconut fragrance from dossier on my wrist and i'm gonna compare the two wow i'd say this is a pretty close scent to the tom ford soleil blanc for a fraction of the price baby i will take it this is being pulled out every single time that i'm going out for brunch this summer and spring wow yep they got it they got the scent down pat for sure for sure for sure i cannot wait to spray this outside and y'all gonna ask me what it is and i'm gonna tell y'all exactly what it is so i'm gonna go ahead and open the second one and i'll spray it on this hand same message on the inside so the second scent is called ambery vetiver I pulled her out the box this is what the bottle looks like dossier's ambery vetiver is inspired by byredo's bal d'afrique or de parfum and this one has top notes of bergamot, lemon, buchu, middle notes of orange blossom, marigolds, and violet, and base notes of vetiver, amber, and cedarwood. So, I was in store the other day and I smelled the Bal d'Afrique and I was like, oh, that smells so good. But I did not like the price point one bit. So, I'm very excited to smell this to see if it compares. So, I'm going to go ahead and spray my wrist. Again, I have not smelled any of these. I've been waiting for y'all. I wanted to do this with y'all. Ooh, ooh, I definitely smell that cedar wood and I smell the bergamot as well. Ooh, now I don't have, now I don't have a sample of the Balde Afrique to compare it to it, but it smells really good. So I must say I am very, very impressed by these two scents, both the Amber Ventivere and the Pottery Coconut. So if you've been wanting to check out the Dossier perfume brand, I highly suggest you guys go ahead and check them out. Of course, I'm bringing you guys a little discount code so y'all can save some money. So Dossier does have a 20% off welcome offer on their site, but you can save 30% off the Dossier site if you go ahead and use my code. It is the Stitch Life 10 and I'll also leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. Pick up a luxury inspired scent on the site. And Dossier also has a new payment method on their site called CAT where you can get rewarded with 10% store credit every single time that you shop using CAT. So not only are you getting a luxury scent inspired by some of your favorite perfumes, but you can also save money on the site. So definitely make sure you guys check out Dossier. Make sure you guys use my link down below if you guys are interested. I highly recommend the Powdery Coconut. This one again is inspired by Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. 
Frank. And I also recommend the Ambery Vetiver. This one is inspired by Byredo's Baldi Afri. And if you've already picked up some scents from Dossier, definitely let me know down below. I also have another package that I want to open with you guys. This one is coming from a luxury brand. Honestly, I've been stalking this item on Sephora and it's been out of stock. I wanted to know what the hype was about. So I went ahead and ordered it on Dior when it came back in stock. One of my Instagram friends, Nayara Alexis, actually posted that this was back in stock on the website. So let me go ahead and open it up. Let me see if you guys could guess what it is. But I have to say I'm super impressed by the packaging. Let me go ahead and open it up. Ooh, I adore her. So I had to deal her. So I went ahead and took the bag out the box. Ooh, what's in there? What is in there? I also received a receipt from Dior. I'm saving it through good baby. <laughs> Just all about the packaging I paid for it. And then in this little bag. Ooh. Cute. In this little bag. They gave me a lot of wrapping ribbons. I don't know what you call these. In this little bag, girl, is the Dior Attic Lip Oil. So this has been out of stock for months. I've been to a few Sephora locations out of stock. Out of stock on Sephora.com. Out of stock on Dior. So when I saw that Naira Alexis posted that this was back in stock, I'm like, let me go ahead and grab one. I didn't want this color, but I'm like, I'll take whatever I could get at this point. So I picked up the Dior Attic Lip Oil. And this is the Universal Clear 000. This is what the Dior Lip Oil looks like once you open the box. Yeah, see? CD at the top quality. Don't mind my nails. They look horrible. Should I just go ahead and put this on my lip now? Why not? I'm testing this right here and right now with you guys. Let's see. Ooh, baby. <laughs> She's sticky. I thought there was a peppermint scent to this, but there isn't. Okay. It's cute. It's not super sticky. I'm happy about that because when I pulled the doe foot out of the tube, it kind of had that cheese pull effect, but no cheese. Um, but I like it. It's not sticky at all. It doesn't give MAC lip glass at all, and I thought it would, so I'm happy it doesn't. It kind of gives... Hmm. I'm trying to think what I have in my collection that I could compare it to in regards of consistency and texture. Well, texture. I don't know. It feels like a high quality lip gloss. It's not given oil though. It's given lip gloss. So, I like it. It's cherry oil infused. I don't smell any cherry. But it's cute. It's cute. I don't know why the girls were fiending. Um, but it's cute. I would probably use this as a lip topper. Or just put it in my lip. Or just put it in my bag as a lip balm. But it's not an oil. It's more of a more gloss than it is an oil. So if you guys wanted to check this out. I don't think it's a necessity. I'm going to keep it. But it feels good on my lip. Not going to lie. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and move the tripod to my closet. So we could get to work on organizing the closet. Color coding it. Because... It looks crazy right now. I need to take out my bulky sweaters and all that stuff. Because I'm going to be wearing a few of them in the spring. But I don't need all of them out. And I'm going to pick out things that I also want to sell. So let's get to it. This is what the closet looks like. I'm just going to go through and try to organize it. Girl, no color coordination. It's just crazy. You see stuff hanging out over here, hanging out over here. And then as I bring the tripod down on the floor, you see no organization.
that looks so much better so closet good now i just have to list things on depop pack stuff away underneath my bed like i have laundry that i need to unpack to that from like two weeks ago let's not get into that but the closet looks good it's color coordinated i can see what's up here everything that's up here is perfect for spring so hey y'all so i stepped out really quickly and while i was out with my mom i got a matcha latte from dunkin donuts low key not obsessed but i really like them i just needed to get the right recipe i've been trying different recipes but this is a medium iced matcha latte with oat milk one shot of brown sugar one pump of brown sugar and sweet cold foam i haven't made it to starbucks yet because starbucks is close to me but it's not as close as dunkin donuts is to me and just to drive out of my way just for a drink is beast so yeah i haven't made it to starbucks yet to try the recipes that i have from starbucks but the dunkin donuts one is good as well he just should have um mixed out the matcha powder a little bit better but it's fine i'm low-key thinking about ordering the stuff on like amazon to make it myself but they're good so I have to list items on Depop now and then um, I need to pick up my room because it looks a little crazy. I need to unpack laundry and hopefully I can fit some self-care in my day as well. I have Apple TV. I just started that um, trial being that when I purchased my iPad, Apple gave me a three month trial for Apple TV. So I just started that. So let me know what I should be watching on Apple TV because I have this three month trial and I want to utilize it. I want to use it. So drop down below what you guys are watching on Apple TV so I can check out some of the stuff. Okay, so I'm about to add a few items onto my Depop shop. Honestly, I've been meaning to do this for the longest. Perfect time is now doing my spring clean out. So this is what my Depop shop looks like. It is the same thing as my YouTube, this dish life, same thing as my Instagram, this dish life. So I'm going to be adding these boots on there i've worn these they've had their share, fair share of wears not that many i haven't worn them like that many times probably like five six seven times so i've probably worn these maybe like seven times so i'm gonna put these up on there and add this handbag on there as well and adding this two-piece suit from pretty little thing i've worn the blazer top but haven't worn the bottom still still have the tags on them and i have some air forces to add on there as well high tops i think that's what they call i think that's what they call i have some air forces to add on those on this on my depop as well that i've probably worn only two times i really like them but i don't wear them a lot and they're just taking up space in my closet so i'm gonna get rid of them i'm currently watching my sis princess zay let me bring her in so i have this on because my sis finally uploaded i was waiting for her um i'm watching her She's actually about to go to my birthday brand. I'm also listing the items on Depop. Right now, I'm putting up the boots that I showed you guys. Kendra posting stuff. Make sure y'all check out Kendra's shop too. There we go. Look over there. What she got? Make sure y'all also check my shop out. I'm posting stuff today. Okay. I'm back. I've listed everything on my Depop except for these sneakers that I need to put up. I'm still watching Zay's vlog. Um, but so far, I put up all of these. I put up the set, that two piece set from Pretty Little Thing. Put up the sweater. I put up the boots. I put up this bag. I still need to put up the um, Nikes. Those are downstairs. I need to make sure I do that as well. So I could just have that finalized and then I actually have to go through some more clothes that I have like downstairs in a basement girl. But I'm not doing that today. I just needed to focus on the stuff that's in my room. But I came back on here because I bought this when my mom actually bought it. She was in a lot less downtown by Wall Street and she saw this. But there are a few lot lesses all over New York. So if you have a lot less, run, don't walk, girl. Run, do not walk. They have a few of these vanity um organizers and i feel like they're just really cute it helps to spice up your little space but it also helps to organize you keep you organized as well so i got this one from better homes and gardens which is actually the sister brand i think to food network i think so don't quote me but this one is a vanity organizer with a chrome finish and tiered glass two shelves it says convenient storage for bathroom necessities 
we're not putting bathroom stuff on here i honestly don't know what i'm about to do with this but i wanted it and i need to make space and figure out what i'm gonna use it for in my room <laughs> this is what it looks like she paid baby 9.99 honestly they sell things like this at marshall's tj maxx and home goods i got this one from amazon the one behind that one that one was gifted to me and i believe it came from amazon but the one that my skincare is on over there i purchased from home goods and i'm pretty sure i paid like 25 dollars for it it's a circle tray glass tray this was 9.99 this would be like easily 25 dollars at marshall tj maxx and home goods so definitely check out a lot less but i'm gonna go ahead and take the paper off of this i don't know what i'm about to put on here but i'm i might put my skincare on here honestly maybe my candles but i have so many candles y'all speaking of i need to light one right now because we got to get them out we got to get them out i actually just remembered that i need to make wax melt for one of the candles that i just recently finished burning so i'm gonna do that as well i'll most likely incorporate that in the video all right let me lower the camera i can see what i have going on here i need to yeah that's what we're doing today. We're doing all of this because this is crazy. But you guys see that I have this tray right here with my skincare on it. So what I think I might do, like it looks fine on here, but I need to utilize my space a little bit more. So what I think I'm going to do is put the stuff on here. Oh, baby, can you fit? It can fit. It can fit. Okay, that don't look half bad, right? Mm. What y'all think? Let me move y'all in a little bit more. Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. cute i could see how that would look nice in the bathroom but we don't got no space for that in the bathroom so that's that okay i came back to show you guys where i put the circle tray i actually put it on my little three tier glass stand that i have like my makeup products on majority of my makeup products on and some skincare on so let me show y'all real quick this is my ikea mirror i put the tray right back here I have my skincare fridge. Honestly, it's not plugged in because it was making a weird sound. But I put the tray here. I have my candle stand that I got for my birthday from my twin. I love candle stands. So I got this candle stand from her. I'm actually trying to decide what candle I want to light right now. So I have two options. I honestly wish you guys could comment right now and let me know. So I'm between Bubbly Rose, Bath and Body Works, or... One of the candles that I picked up, I think, in the last vlog. If you guys haven't checked out the last vlog, good vlog. I did a lot of shopping. <laughs> Unnecessary shopping, but it is what it is. But the second option is Rose Ganache. Both rose scented candles, now I realize. Well, one is Rose, and this is Rose. I don't know. I don't know which one to put on. I think I know which one I'm going to light. I'm going to light Rose Ganache because I feel like this one is more appropriate for this room. Bubbly Rose. Is more so giving summer so i'm gonna go in with this one i'm gonna go ahead and like this one and i'm about to go downstairs and actually make wax melts from the remaining of my sprinkled birthday cake candle so i'll bring you guys downstairs when i do that and i have another candle from lovely candles that i need to make wax melts for head and pop you in here i'm gonna take the top off now because i'm actually about to light it i don't trim my wick until after i've burned the candle so I'm gonna just go in with my lighter and light the candle. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, let's go downstairs. I'm gonna show y'all how I make these wax melts real quick because I need to get these containers out of my room. Okay, you guys, so I'm in my kitchen. 
don't mind whatever snap crackle pop you might hear I'm actually making some shrimp goyozas right now from trader joe's i'm starving i'm gonna make wax melts using this bottomless mimosa candle from lovely candles also realized i had this strawberry pound cake candle that's how much is left i'm gonna make wax melts with that and i'm also going to make wax melts with my sprinkled birthday cake candles i have some wax melts left over from the last time i made wax melts but i use these silicone candy trays in my last vlog i went to ikea and i picked up this silicone tray as well these are little flowers so i'm going to use this as well and right now i have a pot of water on the stove actually let me turn the stove on a pot of water that i'm going to boil and then i'm just going to drop the actual candle jars right in the pot you should be taking off the you should be taking off the labels the girl i don't have, I don't have the patience for that so i'm gonna just drop them right in and i'll show y'all how we get it done Ooh, baby but as you guys can see the water is boiling I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and plop my candle right in there and just watch it you'll start to see the wax melt down and that's exactly what we need this is my wax mel melter right here I'm gonna turn her on because I actually have some wax at the top that I'd like to melt being that we're about to make a ton of new wax melts so yeah it has started to melt I'm just waiting for it to melt a little bit more and I'm going to remove the wick. I've taken out the bottomless mimosa candle. I also took out the wick. The rind from the orange is in this candle. So that's what you're seeing at the bottom. So I'm just waiting for it to cool a little bit. And then I'm going to pour it into our mold. Into our mold. But I did go ahead and pop in the strawberry pound cake candle. And while we wait, I'm actually about to eat my shrimp goyozas. That's what, that is what they look like. Ugh, I hate when I waste it, but it's going to be okay. That's about all we're getting from this candle. Just three. No biggie. Strawberry pound cake wax melts are about to be a tea. Pardon me because I'm eating, but it smells so good in this kitchen, bro so good it smells so good in here this strawberry pound cake got this kitchen smelling like a bakery so i just took the strawberry pound cake candle out she's cooling on this rack and i took out the wicks as well and put them in this one don't mind the whole setup girl it's very walky but i'm just gonna have it cool down a little bit but these have already started to harden just a little bit. You can put them in the fridge to speed up the process, but this is what they look like once they've hardened. So cute! Oh my god. Went ahead and poured the strawberry pound cake liquid, candle liquid, into a plastic cup so that way I can squeeze the mouth and hopefully reduce waste. So let's do this, girl. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh yeah, that's so much better. So much better. Quick tip, use a plastic cup. I mean, I'm not stressing the little waste that we had from my bottomless mimosa candle, but just if you want to maximize. <gasps> Maybe I'm filling it up to the brim like no room that's it can i do one more period you guys so an hour or so has passed i've honestly been packing away laundry i still have some laundry to pack away i'm gonna show y'all real quick i still have laundry to pack away i'm about to go back downstairs and show you guys the wax melts now that they've hardened and then i'm gonna hop in the shower clean this up hop in the shower and get into some self-care because i really deserve it i've done a lot today so as you guys can see they have hardened less than an hour y'all probably around an hour hour or so hour 15 hour and a half these have hardened so i'm just gonna go ahead and pop these out and then i actually want to get a better container to put the wax melts in but i've put 
the other two that I had before making these in this little mason jar. I don't really care about organizing them by scent. It's not that deep to me. Whatever one I put in the melter is whatever one I'm going to get, okay? It's whatever scent I'm going to get. So these two are vanilla patchouli. These are strawberry pound cake. And then these are bottomless mimosas. So cute. Cute. So cute, so cute. So those are all the wax melts. There you have it. All of our wax melts are in this little mason jar. Again, I'm going to try to find something else to put this in. Probably at dollar tree or something but this works right now not gonna lie this works i just want to be extra yep so the sun is indeed starting to set i'm about to shower as i mentioned not too long ago but these scents from dossier i can still smell them and it's been a couple of hours i do want to note that as well i could still smell the pottery coconut and the ambery veltivir on this wrist as well they're not as strong as they were once i when i initially sprayed them but i've also been doing a lot of stuff and i was folding the laundry and i've been around other scents like the candles and all that stuff so not bad but i'm about to get in the shower i want to do a face mask when i get out and i don't know i'm gonna get into some self-care but i think i'm gonna pull out some things that i don't normally use on an everyday basis one being this necessary body wash i'm gonna use that today also going to use this le serum from necessaire and i want to try the body exfoliator i've had this for a little while and i haven't tried it as yet it's the ice cream truck outside for me that's how you know spring has officially commenced um in my opinion the body lotion is i so i think i'm actually going to use the body serum with my josie marin body butter yeah 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 and i might do a sheet mask too I might go ahead and put this one on. The rice one. This rice Korean mask that I really like. Tell me what you're seeing me. Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is nothing. In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, trifling, difficult Let go, I don't know why you love me yeah. You got it bad, you got it bad for me, babe I know so glad that I can have this, babe oh, why you This necessary body exfoliator First time using it, 10 out of 10 the Sephora sale has officially commenced and I need a full size. I'm not even finished with this. I just opened it and I need a full size. This is so nice. It's fine. The exfoliator is a very fine. Whatever bead or whatever, whatever they use in the exfoliator is very, very fine. So I just feel like it works way better than like the coarse salts or the coarse sugar crystals that they usually put in the exfoliator. 10 out of 10. Recommend. That's the one. My shower routine was very much so enjoyable, very much so deserved. It was quite an experience, okay? But I'm about to put this on my face, and I'm actually going to use my Foreo to have my at-home spa-like experience. But I'm also going to put the Josie Marin body butter on my skin. I'm going to use this one. This is the Sweet Citrus. Sweet, sweet citrus scent 
But first, I'm going to go in with the Necessary Body Serum. So, I'm going to do my face first. And then I'm going to do my body because my hands are already clean. So, let's do that right quick. game changer again the sephora sale is currently going on this is the perfect thing to pick up during the sale thank me later but i'm gonna take this off and let the rest of the serum just soak in and while that sits on my face and soaks in i'm gonna do my body you know i'm just I feel like a brand new girl, a brand new girl, okay? So I'm about to wind down. So I'm gonna relax for the rest of the night. I was actually watching We Work on Apple TV while I was packing with my laundry. And I'm watching it on my iPad again. Drop, please. If you have Apple TV, if you have Apple TV, drop some recommendations down below. I'm almost finished with the first episode. Oh, girl, it's not called We Work. It's called We Crashed because We Work crashed. Not really. I think it's six episodes in the one season, and each episode is like an hour long. It's not bad. I actually watched the American Greed episode of We Work. So what of how the company launched and basically like almost crashed so this is kind of like a more in-depth version of the american greed episode but i'm gonna go ahead bike life bike life bike life Mind you, we haven't even touched the high of 60 in New York today. Why y'all outside going on like that? Why y'all outside going on like that? But I'm about to relax for the rest of the evening. I ate something a little bit earlier, but I need something else in my system. And then at some point, I'm going to start editing this vlog so you guys can see it on Sunday. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life. Very chill day in the life. I feel like for the past few weekends, I've been outside and I need to be inside to save some coin, especially since we're in April, the month of April. I spent a lot of money in the month of March. So I need all of that back. But I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out Dossie Ear. If you guys were looking for some affordable, luxury-inspired scents, definitely check them out. Again, I'll leave my link down below so you guys can save some money. 30% is a good amount, especially on fragrances that are already inexpensive. So definitely check them out down below. Don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you check out my Depop shop if you guys liked any of the items that I listed today. I will be 
adding more things throughout the week as I go through the rest of my stuff. Definitely follow me on all of those socials. I love you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And until the next video, which will be on Wednesday, I'll see you guys all later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.